The Wisconsin Fast Plant System is a great way to test the nutritional needs of plants. This system will allow us to grow plants in a very short period of time. However, in order for this system to work, we have to follow very specific instructions on how to plant our seeds. This system uses these small styrofoam squares called quads that have one, two, three, four places for you to plant your seeds. You will need to make sure you label your quads so that you can identify your different treatments. Before you do anything, you need to take the quad and this, which is called a wick, and stick it down into the bottom of the quad and pull it out about halfway. This will allow water to get up into your seeds and it will also keep soil from falling out of the bottom of the quad. When you have your wicks in place, then it's time to load the quads about three-fourths of the way full of soil. We have a variety of different soils that you can use, depending on what factors, your, what variables your group chooses to test. We have clay soils. We have sand. Sometimes sand is a little tricky to get to stay in the actual quad. I need to find a quad that has a small hole. We have loam soils. At this point, you do not want to fill your quad completely full. If one of the things you are choosing to test is the amount of fertilizer that you add. These are fertilizer pellets. They have equal amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You can add different numbers of fertilizer uh, pellets to the different quads. And then cover them the rest of the way with soil. Now, the seeds we are going to plant are very, very small. In order to make sure that we get at least one plant growing in each of the wells of the quad, we want to plant three seeds per quad. And then add a very, very small amount of soil on top of the seeds. All right, there, we've got our seeds sown. Now, one of the things that we want to make sure that we do in this experiment is that if we're changing the amount of soil, the type of soil, or the amount of nutrients, we want to keep everything else the same. And one thing we want to keep the same is the amount of water. This is a water box that has a reservoir of water down below and then a felt cloth that will wick the water up to the top. We want to use this to supply water to our germinating seeds and our plants. But in order for this to work, we have to make sure we have a complete column of water all the way up through the quad. So, in order to do this, we need to take a dropper and drop water onto the surface of the soil and let it soak in and let it soak all the way down through until there is water dripping out the bottom through your wick, so the wick is also wet. What this ensures is that we have a continuous stream of water from the wick up into the soil up to where the seeds are. Think of the cohesive and adhesive properties of water that enables this to happen. Then, 
when we have a continuous stream of water, you set this quad down onto this wet felt. That way water will be transported all the way up and keep a steady supply of water to your seed, germinating seeds and your plants. We will then take this entire setup and put it under a light box that will supply a constant amount of light to our developing plants. That way, we standardize the amount of water and the amount of light that the plants are getting, and we can test the variables of different types of soils, different types of nutrients, different amounts of nutrients, whatever your group chooses to test, and how that will affect plant growth.